Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Exceptional Conservative Show live from the nation's capital. Shonda Smith with us. She's the CEO of Murder Mistaken Incorporated. 202-446-9433. 202-446-9433. Listen, I am a great reporter. And when I make a mistake, I'm willing to admit it. I made a mistake in my intro regarding Rodney Volante. And it's going to be better told by the mother of Rodney and Volante, Miss Shonda Smith. Good evening, ma'am. It's a great pleasure to have you on the air with us. Tell us exactly how you started Murder Mistaken. Um, I started Murder Mistaken because I had a son And uh, 30 years old, and they were two and four. 
Yeah. So they even tell me, we ain't helping you this year, but of course, you know, they're going to be there. That's they're right. They're going to help me set up and break it down. Now, and I have other families that have been killed too. Exactly. Now, Shonda, I, I wanted, uh, if, if I could take it back just a little bit, because I, yeah. fe I fell in love with you because you picked up the phone and you called me and you made me laugh uh, after my I daughter's... <laughs> <laughs> and you know how uh, Sha Shanice Milton, my daughter who was killed in Washington, D.C., and it's almost five years since her death and still the case unsolved, um, and although all the international attention. But there were those who were saying, you're grieving, Ken. You can't laugh. You can't smile. You can't joke. You got to always look serious. And you picked up the phone, and you started making jokes with me, and then you invited me uh, to participate with what you were doing uh, at the Youth Rehabilitation Center. Now, I got to ask you, why did you choose the Youth Rehabilitation Center? A lot of people would say, well, why don't you do it at one of the hotels downtown? Why you choose the YRS? Or the YRC, forgive me. Well, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of unsolved murders. I look at, you will come through, you know, they expect you to be there. Exactly. You are, I'm going to tell you, Shonda Smith is my joy during the course of the year. And, and I have lots of people who recognize me uh, nationally, internationally, and, and they like to talk with me. But sometimes you need people who have gone through the storm and understand what it's like to walk on the floor at 2 o'clock in the morning and look in the kid's bedroom trying to see if that kid's still there because you had a bad dream. Um, and in the midst, we've all cried our tears, um, but we also have to be strong in terms of resolve. 
Um, this is part of your resolve, and it is the murder mistaken Christmas party. Now, I, I give the address, and I've also recruited people to come to this particular event. I'll be sharing that information with you um, in too sweet in order. It is Saturday, December 21st, 2019 at 2 p.m. It's from 2 to 5 p.m. Uh, it's at the Youth Rehabilitation yeah. Service Department. Um, and that's in Washington, D.C. And the only way that you can get into those doors is to go through Shonda Smith. And you can contact her. She's the CEO at 202-446-9433. 202-446-9433. Um, let me ask you this, Shonda, uh, because you and I both know how the race to get kids toys and things goes on and it becomes sometimes a political thing where people are trying to get upsmanship on somebody else and trying to do something better what are your thoughts when individuals are competing to try to do these good things and i am blessed and i'm thankful for what i have mm -hmm. and i share with them kids like I said, I've been a mother 45 years. There ain't nothing new about these kids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I give instructions to the children. They already know what time it is because a lot of them come year after year after year. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it started in my home. My girlfriend, her son got killed. Okay, we can do Christmas together. I got some, something here and I can cook and we got a tree up. You know, trying to get the kids a little Christmas. Yeah. You know, um, in their eyes, I mean, you can't stop it, whether it's in your religion or whatever. Let the spirit of Christ live in Christmas, and that's real. You can't take the Christ out of Christmas. Exactly. And, God, and the good Lord has blessed each and every one of us. Sometimes we have blessings that don't even know we have or open your eyes. Exactly. You know, like you said, I make you laugh. Again, this is one of the craziest weeks of my life. You know? <laughs> but I'm like, okay, come to the pain 26 years. Don't you quit now. Don't you quit. And I pray mm -hmm. that God finds a way that people within their hearts, stop looking for something back because you give a ring, give enough to some kids. You can't give me nothing yet. Mm -hmm. I really don't need this. So that's why I'm able to take care of a bunch of little kids. Just to get the kids together. And they know what to do. Yeah. They know what to do. It's exactly. The mothers again. You still a mother. Or father, these children need, like I used to tell my sons when I thought, some of these kids are going to need you to put them up on their shoulders. Yeah. You know, or wrestle with them, you know, play with them or whatever. Because they're missing their loved one. And they don't know. They just don't know. It's, you know, I can't make them take the kids to church. But build their spiritual out there. Tell them about Jesus and what he's done for you. My son wrote a poem years ago. Can't you see the Jesus in me? Who gonna take the trash out mm. if I'm not? These kids, because he doesn't want to die. I don't want to die, Mom. Mm -hmm. Who gonna help you? Who gonna do this? Who gonna do that? And you teach your children the morals and respect. I've done it with the homeless. We had Christmas party with the homeless. Mm -hmm. You know, that's still Mr. 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 Johnson on the corner. Even though he drinks, he's still Mr. Johnson. Give him the respect and keep him moving. Exactly. You know, I see what a sad face they go angry, they rob the people. And this is the time again, um, somebody just broke in a U Haul said it must have been somebody helped them put it in there, but I would have never put them in the U Haul. Exactly. Yeah. You know, if we get ready to pull off and get to the receiver and all. There you go. Shonda you, know you and it's not a soft Christmas story. Shonda, you have been doing this for so long. Everyone recognizes you. You receive recognition from the police chief. Uh, last weekend uh, at the Remembrance, the Tree of Remembrance. And the funny thing about Chief Newsom, back in 1990, I'm also a gunshot victim. He was stationed at 6 feet. Mm -hmm. And he was over DC Jones. So my gun had, had tried to rob me. I ran, shot him in the back of my leg. And they called the ambulance. So they took me over DC Jones. They squirted some stuff through my leg, wrapped a band aid, and sent me out because. That's when we were murder capital, you understand? Yep. And I was complaining that at the time, Officer Newshaw asked me, ma'am, where did you get shot? I got shot right now in 17 precincts. And look, they still killing on BVT. And the precinct 76 right there. There's no respect. They tell the police officer, they don't care. I don't even know. My question is, where they getting these bullets from? 
Mm-hmm. If they're trying to do Amazon and eBay or do the U.S. Postal, somebody ain't doing their job. You know it's the part of the bullet. Why are you allowing them? They can have the guns, but it's not the bullet you're on top of that. And that's mm-hmm. the real talk. And yeah. everybody around you know that. How, why do you need so much ammunition if you're not selling it or bartering it or doing whatever you're doing with it? Because there's no way they got that many bullets. And how do you get the bullets? They don't even sell bullets in the District of Columbia. I know a Marvel White they do, but are you really checking ID? Well, yeah, there is a there is a big difference. There is a big difference between the legal gun owners, uh, which are few in the District of Columbia because of the gun control laws, which I am adamantly opposed to, uh, and how criminals are able to get their guns on the street and have terrorized our communities. That same terror is what our children face. Not only have they lost their parent or lost their loved one, but they also face the threat that they know somebody in the neighborhood who did it. And so the police are at risk. Uh, the community is at risk. Yeah, all of us. Exactly. So there's only sometimes just one opportunity to bring some bright light into that little kid's heart. And I've had those kids sit on my lap. They don't know Sharnice Milton from a hill of beans. And they sit on my lap, and the most precious thing is, I just wish I had my mommy back. Or I just wish I had my brother back. These are the words from those kids as they're sitting there, and we are trying to love up on them. And you allow us to do that every year. And Mrs. Biggs and I love you, and thank you so much for the opportunity. How can I, people I, support I, you? I ain't know what I was what I was saying about being the one that used to dance. And then she got pregnant, so cancer will be here this year. Before she got pregnant, forty three years old, and that's my little sister. She would dance, put on the Santa Claus outfit, play with the kids and stuff. And she had got pregnant, so now it's like we got a Santa Claus now, but her outfit is still in the bin, okay? There you go. <laughs> Shonda can, Shonda, can I just do this real quick? Because a lot of people have seen the event, and I'm keeping your picture up on the screen along with your telephone number so people can call you, 202-446-9433. They don't need to see my pretty face. They see it every night. Um, but what, what people don't understand is that you have a huge room with toys and coats and shoes and socks and hats yeah. and those kids come in there and what really shocks me is those kids come in there and they just reach for one toy and they're ready to leave out because they think that's the limit and you walk in there and say baby don't you do that go over there and get as much as you need take what you need you are a bold and loving woman Shonda and I got it Exactly.
future. Shonda. Shonda. Exactly. Shonda Smith, CEO, Murder Mistake Incorporated. What you all don't know, and this is the hour that we we are not doing, but that one commercial. I want to talk with Shonda. I want you all to pick up the phone. We just got a message from our chat room from Dave Milner. He said, Ken, please tell Shonda she may get a call or two from outside the U.S. after Sunday. Uh, he has a show in Britain. Uh, and so you're going to start getting a whole lot of love from a whole lot of people from around the country. And I thank you. You're opening the door. And that's what it is. Um, I just went to Tennessee where we faith is not forgotten. My children are on that quilt. Mm -hmm. To reach and show that the impact of loved ones under the age of 20 of gunshot victims. I've done the gun advocacy too. But too many of our babies are dying. And Children are living in sea. I don't want them to live in sea. I want them to have at least one day of fun. Yeah. And the mother's learn how, you know, I kept my kids in the house after it happened. They don't even leave the house now. They, they grow, they won't leave the house. Yeah. They don't know where. It's so tough. You know, because the streets just, I mean, they go where they want to go. I think they just went to get something to eat. But, and we were headed to a Christmas party. Yeah. They never made Exactly. I don't even know how I got from here, but I can thank God. It truly was him and forgiveness. Yeah. I can look back 20 years and I can laugh about that night. Like, what did I have on? Yeah, I remember. How did I look? Exactly. You know, was I destroyed? Yes, I was. Yeah. You know, but I wasn't going to let the straight jacket that I'm a crazy mother. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of Americans will never understand. A lot of Americans will never understand, Shonda, what it's like to get a knock on your door at eleven o'clock in the evening, and it's two white detectives standing there preparing to tell you and your family that your children are not going to make it home. Um, they don't know. Exactly. Shonda, Shonda, there have been 159 murders, homicides in the District of Columbia in 2019, and the year ain't over yet. But there's some woman, there's some man sitting at home right night, right now, thinking and weeping because there's a lost loved one, and they don't know what kind of Christmas that their, their children or their grandchildren are going to have. What should they do right now? Should they pick up the phone and call you, Shonda? They should pick up. I, just, I need a couple more donations. I mean, I need a few more coats. I'm doing the best I can. I mean, I don't get paid today, Friday. So, yeah. hey. And I'm going to make sure that the kids have everything that they need. Coats, hats, gloves, socks. You know, they got pajamas. They got their own shoes. You know, I got puzzles. I have toys. I have doll bags. I got trucks. Exactly. You know, the families and families, like, we can do this. 
we're gonna make this happen because they were so satisfied that the kids, all the kids talked about, are we going to the Christmas party? You know, that's what the, that's the part to get me at the end of the year. You know, at the end of the party, the little kids are like, are you coming next year? And all I can do is tell them pray, keep your grades up, and God's will, I be here. Shonda you know, Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, Shonda Smith, this is a heroine, if there ever was one, a woman who did not allow her sorrow to envelop her, but actually used it as a motivation to improve the lives of everyone around her, including the exceptional one here, Kim McClinton. And I look forward uh, to escorting Mrs. Biggs to this huge gathering. Uh, and I want to announce tonight, Shonda, so that you'll be ready. You won't faint when you see her. Um, we're getting rid of Mrs. Biggs' uh, drab old Santa Mrs. Claus outfit. And she's coming. She she going to be hooked up like never before for this Christmas. You're going to see a new Mrs. Claus outfit. And that's her dream. You know, that was her daughter too. And yes. It helped her. Yeah. Likewise. You come through this with these children, you know, because you see the importance of it. You see where I'm going with this. Yep. You know, people think it's for one thing, so no, it's not. This yeah. It's for all of our children. Every last one of them has lost a loved one in this city. It don't have to be this way. And these children are left behind. It's not their fault. These are children. You know, yeah. give them a break at least, you know. Exactly. I just, I, I, exactly. I and you know, the, the uh, I, I want to say here, because a lot of people sit back and say, well, I want to in order to be invited. And that's not like that at all. You're open. No. And I, you know, I break down every time this year. Everybody got on my nerves. Yes, people get on my nerves. I think about this. I think about this. You know, the children. Yeah, exactly. So, Exactly. Exactly. You know, and this is the way to bring them together. Like, you got new brothers and sisters now, and a lot of acceptance is that. You know, even my kids. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they got more brothers and sisters than I started with. You know? <laughs> and they all call me Ma. Hey, Ma. Oh, Lord, what Calabon is this? And then it's funny. You know, they be like, Ma, I just want to make sure, you know, you was all, right. yeah, I'm all right. You know. You know, it is real and funny. It is real funny because I've seen you walk the streets and people yell out, Hey, Ma. <laughs> you are. And I do not know with your kids. I'd be like, who challenged you? And they'd be like, Ma, you don't know me. No challenge. Take your name. You know, because I have so many children today. My mm -hmm. son uh, was a graduate of Anatomy Senior High. Mm -hmm. He was in his first year college. He was MVP three years in a row. So the whole Anatomy team showed up. He a lot now. Mm -hmm. Coaching everybody, they showed up to help her to cast My daughter had went to Haunt. I had my baby was in Martin's King Elementary School. So all this writing stuff, because I knew everybody on the avenue, everybody knew me or they knew my kids. Exactly. So that's what that you got the Southeast support that you get. You know, the barber shop. If, if I go on Martin's King Avenue to put a bow on the fence, I got to stop at the barber shop. Exactly. You know, I'm trying to get them, put a box in here, come to have gloves or 
Now, now let me so let me just make this this point here, Shonda, because we're gonna have to break away, and I'm gonna have to let you go for the evening because you you know you still working on getting stuff together for next week, but you ain't looking yeah. for no you're not looking for no uh, fifty inch TV fifty inch TV screens to be giving the kids or nothing like that, right? You're just looking for the basic simple stuff the kids need, right? Basic. Make sure that they will, you know, to get through the winter months. Something that they can play with, something that they can hold on to. Um, like, um, I have your pearl with Shawnee's name in it. Yes. It will be at the Christmas party. We did pearls this year, which I'm one of the sponsors. They have the police department to do the tree remembrance. There was an idea from homicide officers myself. I wasn't the only one. Mm -hmm. But we did that to try to, you know, help people through the holidays. You know, and this is a joyful occasion. Even the mothers had more fun than the kids some moment. <laughs> you know, they be like, they be laughing and, and laughing and laughing on the way out. So I'm like, y'all play too much. They be like, uh uh. But it's a good way for us as a family. Mm -hmm. All of us in our government, if we come together, we make it happen for the children. I mean, it's adults, and then we talk to one another. We learn about each other. And like I said, it's not about that in Bush. It's the whole so happened twenty six years ago. I give that Christmas party that they never made it to and I give it for everybody else because ain't none of these kids are home that have gotten killed here in the district of Columbia. None of them will be home for Christmas. But the ones that are here, I'm gonna do something for them. And that's real. There you go. You know. Shonda still, Smith, still, ladies and gentlemen. Shonda Smith the CEO of Murder Mistaken Incorporated, 202-446-9433. I want to give you these final moments to talk to the woman or the man who's sitting at home and they have children, but they don't have any plans for Christmas. They don't know what to do for their kid. Can you talk to them right now and tell them what they should do, how you can help them? One year, I was contracting and I had to pay a bill. So I had no money. And they woke up Christmas morning, looked at me in my face, and was like, Mom, for real, you didn't get us nothing because I always bought them socks. Yep. And my kids needed socks for Christmas, that's exactly what they got. We'll get a puzzle, get a game, full of games, I'll play them, up, step the games. And I'm going to put something on, I'm going to cook, and we're going to play a game. Y'all want to go outside? Nah. You know. And, and, you know, just to see every other kid around them, you mm -hmm. know, and what they went through, you know. And like I said, I would open my doors to family and friends. You didn't have anybody who's up for Christmas. Come over here because I just got this new house. Oh, the kids got the basement. They got sleeping bags. And they're playing. The kids are playing half the night. Then I might read a book to them or we watch a good movie together. But I always had something cooking on the stove. And yes, I'll be cooking. Woo! Something to eat. Black gloves and socks for kids. There you go. And give God to our older kids. We do need to give God for the older kids. Exactly. You know, um, got some coming. I got to buy some. I'm going to get some tomorrow. I just don't know where do the kids eat. Yeah. But they can't go nowhere because of the crime. So I'm like, yeah, where can they go? You know. Exactly. So exactly. I'll make $10 cards or something just to help them. I need gift cards. For gift, the older kids. gift cards for the older kids. And Shonda, you bring up a very valid point because a lot of people focus on the six to seven, the eight year old kids and, and they try to get them toys and gifts and they forget about the 15 and 16 and 17 year old kids who are in those homes. Some of them preparing to get ready to go to college and they are grieving too. And they, you have an opportunity to come and get the love that you need from a woman who wants to give the love to you. I got kids right now in college. We'll be on. We'll be at Christmas party. Okay. They know they should be, but they know they get head gloves or something. They grew up with that. They grew up with that. They be like, sure, we get them hats. And I would at least like to give the kids at least three head socks, if not six head socks for kids. That's a blessing. Exactly. So the kids wear crazy socks anyway. They don't care what they put 
match, don't they? Yes, they do. Sometimes. Now, Shonda, Shonda, you know how some folk are. If it rains, I guess you're going to cancel. Is that true? You're going to cancel if it rains? No. I'm going to have on my snow boots. I'm coming. There you go. <laughs> There you go. See, they, she's busy. Shonda Smith is busy right now. They got kids up in there getting things packed and ready. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, this. But that, listen, ladies and gentlemen, she doesn't have all of the gifts. She doesn't have all of the gift cards. She doesn't have all of the hats, all of the socks, all of the gloves, the coats. Listen, those kids go to school in the middle of the winter with a windbreaker on. You can change that. You can change that tonight. Give Shonda Smith a phone call. She's the CEO of Murder Mistaken Incorporated, 202 202- 446-9433. Some of y'all got coats that your kids ain't worn since 1962 up in that closet. Take it to the dry cleaner and give it to Shonda Smith if it's in good condition. Now, don't be giving no holy stuff. Holy Ghost comes uh, on his own. He don't need no help. I, I can't say if you clean them up, that they're wearable for the kids. Because my kids Exactly. Now, some of y'all, some of y'all are watching this on YouTube right now. Um, well, you'll be looking at the rec- the recorded re- video of this live event, um, and you're thinking, you know, it's too late. It ain't never too late, is it, Shonda? Is it ever too late never to? Yeah. Mrs. Biggs and I love you. We thank God for you giving us the opportunity to serve as Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. Don't tell the kids who we are, of course. 
Um, but I, I love you deeply, and I pray for your great success, your health and prosperity and well-being. And I pray that every single one of those kids walks out of there with a full bounty of love, not just gifts, on yeah. next on next Saturday the twenty first. I know. Yeah. Back and forth to the door for, you know, straightening up a little bit more. Still, you know, trying to bag up everything so I can be ready start next Thursday morning. When my son go to storage and get the tree and all the rest of the stuff, everything got to be ready so they can put everything on. And I'm headed to the receiving hall. Exactly. You know, so we can set up. I got extra Austin trans for the kids. Um, you know, they just want to do stuff. Yeah. Exactly. You know, but um, this is what I did. Faith is not forgotten, and the lady picked the pictures. And I asked her, "Did you know the parents, the Santa Claus in the picture?" She said, "No." I said, "Well, that's Mr. and Mrs. McClinton, Shawnee Snow's mom and dad." Wow. And she looked at me like, "What?" And they did a news article on it. You know. Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, there's a lot to help. It takes another survivor to know a survivor to make it happen, and we all are survivors." Exactly. I know you real. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we come to you right now before your throne, and we ask you right now to bless Shonda Smith, Murder Mistaken Incorporated. Lord God, give them everything that they need according to the bounty of the harvest which you have already deposited in the earth. I ask you right now, Father God, calling upon the spirit of those who call themselves Christians, I ask you right now, Father God, that those who are in want and those who are in need do not go on continually with that, but they are able to give out of their own bounty to those through Shonda Smith's Murder Mistaken Incorporated. And Lord God, let there be no faithful excuse that's acceptable to any of us that we all sacrifice and are willing to do that which is right, not in our own eyes, but in yours. Bless Miss Smith from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet and meet her needs according to your precious will as well. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we say amen. Shonda, we love you. We love you. We want everyone to go right now. Pick up your phone, 202-446-9433. I know some of you all are going to say, well, the phone line's busy. I couldn't get Stop. It's hammer time. Take messages. There you go. She's ready, willing, and able, and we want you to be too. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more of the best at Urban Conservative Talk. You are watching the Exceptional Conservative Show on TECN TV, the best in urban conservative news and talk. And we have been talking for the full hour with Shonda Smith, commercial, virtually commercial free, CEO of Murder Mistaken Incorporated, 202 446 9433. But you know, we got to go back. And make a little something something. So here we go. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? I'm Paul Stanley of KISS. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? I'm 
Councilman Eric Joya. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are?